The Tamil Nadu's government has decided to disregard the letters of uh, the governor, uh, T.N. Ravi, uh, asking uh, for the dismissal of Minister Senthil Balaji from the Council of Ministers. Earlier, NDTV exclusively accessed the letters of Tamil Nadu governor R.N. Ravi addressed uh, to Chief Minister Stalin over the dismissal. In his first letter, the governor had cited the pending criminal case against arrested Minister Senthil Balaji and stated that he is exercising his powers under Articles 154, 163 and 160 to dismiss him as a minister without the advice of the chief minister, only to retract the decision in a matter of just five hours through a second letter stating that he's been advised by Amit Shah that it would be prudent to seek the opinion of the attorney general. Now, M.K. Stalin's government uh, is uh, likely to disregard uh, both those letters uh, while uh, the chief minister held a meeting of senior leaders and legal experts earlier today. No, the government does not have any power to dismiss the minister without the recommendation of the chief minister. That should be clear hmm. on two things. One is Article 164, which says that the chief minister shall be appointed by the governor and other ministries on the advice of the chief minister. That means the governor cannot pick up somebody uh, uh, whom he likes and make him a minister. He can make somebody a minister only on the recommendation of the chief minister. Similarly, the governor does not have any power as a minister without the recommendation of the chief minister. Now, yeah, I, yeah, I why that. I say so? Because the governor does not have this kind of a power which <clears throat> we are attributing to him um, uh, uh, because the Supreme Court has said it in many, many cases that the governor does not have the power to act independently. He can act only on the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers. Now, this being the position, I do not know how the governor exercises this kind of a power which doesn't exist. Now, I will also tell you one thing. If you look at Section 51, 1 and 5 of the Government of India Act of 1935. After all, our constitution actually is based on basically Government of India Act of 1935. Um, there, Section 51 deals with the governor and also the appointment of ministers. There, the governor can choose and dismiss the ministers in his discretion. This is what is written there. But that means the governor has the power to choose a minister and also to dismiss him. But that is not the case in our constitution. When the constitution, when this article was framed, they omitted those things. That is the discretion and the governor choosing the minister and dismissing the minister at, yeah. in his discretion. These words were omitted. The reason is, that the Constitution has not conferred this kind of a power on the governor to dismiss an individual minister. The governor has no right, as per the Constitution, to remove any minister without the knowledge of the chief minister. Only on the advice of the chief minister that the government should either appoint or dismiss, remove a minister from the cabinet. That is what the uh, Constitution says. But this governor has never respected constitution. This is a constitutional post. This is uh, unlawful. This is unconstitutional. The, uh, any person who is accused of a crime should be punished by the court. Only after punishment that such things will happen. Sources in the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister's office have conveyed to NDTV that late last night they have received a letter, a second letter in fact from the governor saying that the earlier letter would be kept in abeyance. What that means is that Senthil Balaji will continue as minister and he is not dismissed. The earlier letter had said that Senthil Balaji is being dismissed as minister because he is seen by the governor to be misusing his powers uh, and influencing the uh, uh, the uh, investigating agencies and obstructing the uh, investigation itself and therefore 
because there were criminal cases against him, cases under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act as well as Prevention of Corruption Act and under the other sections of the IPC and therefore he was being uh, suspended. Of course, uh, that had created a huge furor. Uh, the Chief Minister had said that uh, the Governor does not have the powers to do this and uh, that they would be taking uh, legal uh, uh, recourse to that and uh, subsequently there were several constitutional experts also who said that the governor will not have the power in fact to dismiss any minister because a minister is appointed on the advice of the chief minister and that is seen to be binding on the governor and the governor cannot unilaterally dismiss any minister in any cabinet uh, because this is uh, uh, the uh, 164 article of uh, the constitution which in fact specifies how a chief minister and his cabinet is appointed and uh, the ministers obviously are appointed uh, by the governor uh, on the advice of the chief minister. Uh, politically, what this had also raised is, uh, in a sense, the hackles of all the uh, opposition parties which have come together even otherwise on the issue of central agencies allegedly being misused, on the is misuse of alleged misuse of uh, constitutional positions like that of the governor, even otherwise in uh, several of those states where, which are governed by non-BJP parties, uh, there has been this kind of uh, uh, standoff, friction, and uh, almost, uh, uh, you know, kind of a fight between the uh, governor and the uh, gov uh, government itself, whether it is a Telangana or a Kerala or uh, even Tamil Nadu, where, of course, we have seen multiple times that uh, bills were rejected and the, gov and the chief minister uh, taking up that issue legally as well. Even otherwise, there's a, there are pleas pending in the Madras High Court uh, seeking for uh, removal of Senthil Balaji as uh, uh, as minister and uh, that is something that the court is going to be hearing on the 7th of July. Uh, Senthil Balaji's arrest per se being seen as a message being sent uh, to say that uh, there is corruption in the uh, DMK ministry and that the chief minister is trying to protect him. Interestingly, Senthil Balaji started off uh, uh, you know, uh, with the MDMK, then he went to the uh, DMK and then in uh, 2000 is when he joined the AIADMK until 2018 he was with the AIADMK and uh, 2018 is when he joined the DMK and it was during his tenure as AIADMK minister that the jobs for cash uh, scam had happened and this case also relates to that time and the fact that he rose uh, so quickly to be very close to the uh, powers that be in Tamil Nadu, uh, uh, the chief minister's uh, family as well, that was something that has caused resentment among DMK ranks and the fact that Senthil Balaji in a sense is being supported, backed up by the Chief Minister, that has also raised eyebrows.